It was in this area where Jackson got free of the officer's grasp, ran into a pasture, and then fled into these woods behind me where the officer lost sight of him. It takes drivers more than 30 minutes to get from one end of Lexington Road to the other. When in fact, Google Maps here says this should only take a few minutes. Ian, today's plant opening was huge, wasn't it? Yes, it was, but Governor Nathan Dill says this is more than just a great day for Northeast Georgia. It's a great day for the entire state. Breaking news in D.C. I'm Ian Saunders. Good evening. A little after 2 p.m., shots were fired outside the nation's capital. Let's join Ian Saunders now live. What are the candidates' thoughts on the big day? The candidates feel confident about their chances of winning this race. That's good, but only one can hold the mayor's seat. Reporter Ian Saunders joins us live to talk about the races and the issues. Ian? And the number one issue is jobs, whether it's in Homer, Danielsville, or Gainesville. And in Gainesville, it's becoming an especially heated debate when there's four candidates in the race. We tried to reach the fourth candidate, Deborah Hartrider, but were unsuccessful. Ben, I know you talked to the director of elections for Hall County. What information did she give you about a possible runoff? Well, in the chance that there is a runoff, it will happen on December 3rd. But before that can happen, all the votes have to be casted tonight by 7 p.m. But as of 3 o'clock today, voter turnout was lower than expected, which is somewhat surprising considering the historical nature, or nature of this election. After the tour today, the plant was relatively empty, but that'll change tomorrow when the first 300 workers show up for their new jobs. Reporting live for Grady News Source, I'm Ian Saunders. According to the governor, this caterpillar plant opening is further evidence that Georgia is an attractive location for businesses. Caterpillar chairman and CEO Doug Oberhelman says the Athens area was an especially favorable climate for his company to do business. There are lots of things that go into that. Aggressiveness by the state in helping us. Quick start. Tremendous program to get our people up to date, up to speed, early, get them in the factory moving quickly. And that was a key piece, not to mention the transportation system here. Now, Caterpillar could have chosen any location in the country or the world for that matter, but they chose Athens and for good measure. Governor Dill agrees. Uh, I think they've become truly one of the great ambassadors for the state of Georgia to say Georgia is indeed a good place to do business. This plant will become Caterpillar's global source for producing tractors and excavators. Once it becomes fully operational in 2015, it will be one of the largest single facilities in the country and one that will showcase Georgia and its people to the world. What you do as workers to turn out quality products really speaks louder than anything that Chris can say or that I can say. You Candidate Rose Johnson says the Gainesville mayoral race is an exciting moment in the city's history. The winds of change are blowing here, new things are happening. And this election in its historic nature will change in many ways. The candidates say they're proud of their get out the vote measures. Candidate Danny Dunnigan says he has friends and family answering calls and emails. We're, we're, uh, we're relying on a lot of friends. I had a friend call me a while ago that he was sending emails to all of his people that he knows inside the city to get out and vote. Candidate Charles Alvarez is helping his own calls by standing at this corner of the intersection waving his own sign. He argues that it's important for people to vote in this race. So it's a privilege that we have. Uh, there are a lot of countries in the world that don't have this privilege, and thank God we're one of the best countries in the, in the whole world, not one of the best, the best country in the whole world. This is one of the privileges that we have, that we can do. This is the man authorities are looking for. He faces charges that range from minor misdemeanors to theft by taking. However, he's good at one thing, and that's eluding authorities. Nice Commerce Road is the location where Joseph D. Jackson was last spotted by Hall County Police. Madison County authorities say officers were there investigating a stolen vehicle. Jackson was also listed as a possible suspect. Police came to interview him about the matter when they discovered Jackson had an outstanding warrant for a probation violation by the Jackson County Superior Court. Once authorities received this information, they arrested Jackson. It was in this area where Jackson got free of the officer's grasp, 
ran into a pasture, and then fled into these woods behind me where the officer lost sight of him. Click on the Georgia Virtual History Project app and, and almost drop through a wormhole where you come out the other end and you're standing on that bit of soil in 1864 or in 1964. Professor Christopher Lawton is creating a new way to see your history. The Georgia Virtual History Project is an up and coming website that allows you to view the history of your location. The idea for the project allows people to get a glimpse of the past through technology. Our software will recognize uh, a tagged location at any given site uh, and that will launch like a, 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 a mini documentary that, that says this is what happened here and here's the story we want you to know. If you were at Five Guys downtown and got on this website, you would find out that the historic Newton House Hotel was once there. The creators want the website to attract everyone. They argue that pen and paper just doesn't cut it anymore. The way to do it is to like use technology, not just for entertainment purposes, but to use technology to like to reach out of the academy and like reach into people's homes and into their lives and into the spaces across the state. As the website is continuing to develop, a smartphone application is going to play a key role in the project. Start the app and then use the app to actually scan the scene in front of them. So when it picks up something, that's tagged, it'll, it'll actually play the content. Professor T.J. Kopcha says this project is unlike anything that has been done before. This is a project that has the potential to change the way people think about not just history, but the history of a state and the tourism that goes with it. I mean, this is a game changer. Ian Saunders, Grady News Source. Long lines and the sound of car horns blowing are just some of the scenes you will see at the intersection of Lexington Road and Loop 10. This is University of Georgia senior Jimmy Hartney. He says traffic here is a real pain. It takes at least 30 minutes to get from Dairy Queen, you know, out of here. And then either way, it's a pain, but more so getting out of here around 2 to 6 o'clock at night. Shell gas station manager Naeem Javid believes that his business has been impacted by the traffic here. So the traffic is coming from the other side, they cannot turn inside. And uh, that, you know, hurts our business. It takes drivers more than 30 minutes to get from one end of Lexington Road to the other. When in fact, Google Maps here says it should only take a few minutes. The Georgia Department of Transportation held an open house meeting last December to present a plan for fixing the intersection. The design calls for the on-ramp of the outer loop to connect with Barnett Shoals Road. If you're traveling westbound on Lexington Road, you can make a right turn to get on the outer loop. Two additional lanes will be added to Lexington Road, making it three lanes on each side. Traffic engineer Steve Decker says the plan will be good for traffic and the environment. But this, the bottom line is going to save pollution, save time, and save fuel, save money. The estimated cost for the entire project will be about $16 million. Ian Saunders, Grady News Source.